there was an English TV show, and it's one of these guys, he's one of them football pundits, I don't know, it's BBC Two or something. And there's a full three minute singing and dancing just saying how important it is to have rainbow armbands. Why? I don't get it. Why can't people just play football? Why do they have to mix in this agenda with everything? Yeah, I don't It's understand. like the West has no culture besides that. It's the last piece of culture, the pride flag. And I don't give a shit if people are gay. I don't care. You can be as gay as you want. But why do you have to not? Why do you have to go to another country and make sure that they understand how important it is that you believe that that's an important thing? Like, well, well, interestingly enough, Andrew, in the argument of love is love and we should celebrate and make legal all types of love, if you are from Qatar and you are a, a Muslim and you live in England, you cannot legally marry three or four women. Polygamy is against the law in England. So if we were to hold the World Cup in England, could the Qatari players have their pro-polygamy, pro-multi-wife uh, armbands on? But I don't think they would. I don't because, think they would. No, because they don't, they don't want to push their culture on other people. They're yeah. just happy being who they are. And I think that that's what every culture should do. Yeah. By most metrics, Qatar as a country outperforms nearly every Western country. Yeah, absolutely. It's safer. They have families, let lower divorce rate. They're doing something right. So for us to sit, come along and say, no, they're doing everything wrong. They have to believe the way we think is absolutely not the arrogant. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Here you can see Andrew Tate has exposed the Western media and Western countries who is trying to push their culture in Qatar. Out of nowhere, they are trying to promote LGBTQ in a Muslim majority country like Qatar. Qatar has banned it. Why you need to push it there? You went there for playing football, go play football. Don't change someone's law or someone's culture there. Respect other people's tradition and cultures and values. And Andrew Tate already said that because the Western countries, they cannot bear it that Qatar outperformed them. Qatar is doing better than all these many other Western countries. That is what the Western medias cannot engulf. They cannot digest the fact that Qatar is doing better in economy, in culture, in every sector. Now they made this LGBTQ one of the biggest issue on earth and trying to bash Qatar due to this. Everyone has their own value, own tradition, own culture own honor, own respect and everything in their own country. They have their own laws. When you go and visit a country, try to respect them, try to honor them. Qatar is doing its best to welcome everyone from every part of the world. They have their own moral. They have their own rules and regulations. From youths to old, everyone is trying to serve the guests who came to watch the match of World Cup. They are giving free tea, free coffee, free dates. Even the children, they are handing roses. That's so amazing, so fantastic. The non-Muslims, they are attracted to Qatar and they are attracted to this Muslim culture. They, they are accepting Islam in Qatar. We have seen a lot of videos that non-Muslims are taking the Shahada, they are accepting Islam. May Allah bless those people who are trying their best to portray Islam in a positive way and those who are spreading the deen across the globe and may Allah give barakah to the people who are trying to make people understand about the Islamic values, teachings and cultures.